All right, friends, welcome back to the Crisis Report, April 9th, 2024. Tonight we're going to be talking about possibly the Hormuz being shut down. For those that don't know, if the Strait of Hormuz is shut down, that means basically most of the oil in the world is going to have a really tough time getting to wherever it needs to go. Other issues, of course, are going on between Israel and Iran and, of course, the United States and Israel, and people want a ceasefire, and it's just not happening. Uh, and the deals just get more wonkier and wonkier, and it's becoming a problem. So we're going to go through it, as we always do. This is the most comprehensive news on YouTube. We uh, appreciate you being here. You know how to show your respect and uh, support, and that is by hitting the like button, of course, and sharing out. All of this, leaving a comment, even if it's just mundane or an emoji or something. And, of course, um, being uh, engaged in all that and and, uh, other places. There are other places you can join us, like the uh, uh, subscription services, um, Price of a Coffee. You can join. It's just a great way to support and get some. Extra info, I put a lot out there today. Some days I get busy, it's tough to put you know that much out there. Uh, but most days I'm able to put a lot out there, things that you should probably see. I would imagine so. So anyway, we love having you here. Thank you so much. Uh, please hit that like button, and we're going to get started with all of this on, uh, you know, another another day and another, uh, you know, crawl towards World War III, essentially. So. Here we go, April 9th, 2024. Elon Musk predicts that AI will overtake human intelligence by next year. Isn't that wonderful? Good to know that the Terminators will be smarter than we are by next year. I'm sure it will be completely fine. As we know that the uh, progressive mode of thinking has probably been programmed the most in there. And Lord knows they love human beings and all that comes with it. So. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about with that mentality being programmed into our soon-to-be digital artificial intelligence overlords. I look forward to the future. Turkey imposes trade restrictions on Israel over the Gaza war. Elon Musk says ex-employees in Brazil have been told they will be arrested. They row with the uh, Darth Vader of the justice system down there. guy's name is Mare, and he thinks he's God on Earth. 6.6 6.6 magnitude earthquake quake hits eastern Indonesia. MRA, by the way, is part of the far left movement that is taking over Brazil. 6.6 earthquake eastern Indonesia. Actually, at the time of this broadcast, there was a 4.7 in China. So a lot of things rumbling. Activist Greta Thunberg said that a ruling by Europe's top rights court, Switzerland, was not doing enough to tackle climate change and was only the beginning. Basically, these Ladies took uh, these, uh, you know, took took the, con- or the uh, yeah, the government to court, and they won. They said, "Look, you know, we're old and we're affected by all this, and you haven't done enough." And the the court ruled in the old lady's favor. Security reinforced at PSG v Barcelona game after the IS threat, according to a French minister. We're going to get more into that. Evidently, IS is uh, now starting to. Uh, Threaten sports uh, games. Dangerous concentrations of long-lingering forever chemicals have been found in surface and groundwater worldwide, according to a study released Tuesday that showed Australia, the United States, and Europe are hotspots. Norfolk Southern settles a class action lawsuit related to fiery East Palestine derailment in Ohio for $600 million. I'm sure that will totally compensate everybody there. Russia opened a probe into financing TUR, implicating Western countries, saying funds received by the U.S. firms in Euchre, including a company that employed Joe's son, Hunter, were used for TUR acts in Russia. Argentina, President Javier Malay is going to visit the Tesla factory in the United States to meet Elon Musk this week, according to spokesperson. Top Swiss party has demanded the Council of Europe pull out after climate ruling. Blinken, Antony, says Israel has not shared date for the Rafa operation. So that is an interesting one. They've been talking about this date, quote-unquote, 
basically what derailed any ceasefire talks. Now, um, we don't know when it is, and they're not really sharing that. So, not good. Three dead in a blasted Italy hydroelectric plant, according to officials. Parents of a teenager who carried out a deadly uh, school... Um, uh, let's just say it was uh, uh, one of those um, pew pew incidents at a at a school. Uh, he in the U.S. state of Michigan, he was sentenced to ten to fifteen years uh, in an unprecedented, closely watched case. So, so the uh, parents supposedly were implicated in this, and now uh, they're going away. Arizona Supreme Court has allowed near total. Arizona abortion ban created in 1864 to go into effect, reversing the appeals court ruling. That should create some uh, really angry lefties. Mexican news station RCG Media accidentally shows a set of you know what's uh, cojones in Espanol uh, instead of a solar eclipse. So evidently, they're looking. I watch this thing. They don't show you, but. It's like dark, and you're like, oh, it's it's getting dark out there, and all of a sudden it's like man nuts. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. They're very strange down there. Uh, back to the uh, the Rona Zona uh, thing with the uh, Trump and Lindsey Graham have gotten into it. Trump is not stupid politically anymore. Um, he's grown a lot, and he knows that this abortion thing is something that really lights a flame under the uh, the backside lips of the lefties. And he wants to keep it a quote-unquote states' rights issue, as it should be. I mean, it really is. Uh, if Alabama wants to Alabama and California wants to California, it just works better that way. We all know that's the way the founders wanted it. So uh, Lindsey Graham, of course, doesn't want that. He wants it to be a, a federal federal case, ban, whatever you want to call it. And it's not going to really work well for the Republicans, which, of course, is what Lindsey Graham wants. He is controlled opposition. State audit has found that California spent $24 billion to tackle homelessness over a five-year period, but didn't exactly track the outcomes or effectiveness of the program. So it doesn't matter to California. They can just chuck the money around wherever they want to go. Co-host of a show that airs on ABC blamed Monday's total solar eclipse over the United States on climate change. Sunny Hostin, uh, you probably own clothing that has more intelligence than her. Blame the solar eclipse on climate change. Now, not to be outdone, Sheila Jackson Lee down in Texas uh, during the thing said that the, the moon was made of gases. So, you know, you hear these stories. Uh, artificial intelligence already is much more intelligent than most. Uh, but uh, where we go from here, I don't know. Um, that's, that's a lot of dumb and a, lot, and a few few stories. Pentagon chief, no evidence of a G-side in Gaza. Jordanian Air Force announces the successful completion of an extensive airdrop of humanitarian relief over northern and southern Gaza. A total of 14 countries participated. If situation calls for it, we can easily shut down the Strait of Hormuz. This is a big, 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 big thing for those that don't know. This is the $150 a barrel of gas scenario, just so you know. Uh, this is on par with the uh, early uh, 70s oil embargo thing. So we shall see, but th this is the big news of the night for sure. Hamas has released visuals showing the ambush on IDF soldiers, which took place on Saturday in Khan Yunus, one of the contributing factors of the IDF and withdrawing from Khan Yunus. It's one of the, uh, yeah. FBI arrested a teen in Idaho for planning an attack on churches in the last days of Ramadan, all in the name of IS. Iran can close the strategic Strait of Hormuz in its southern waters if it wants to, but it wouldn't do that, IRGC Navy Commander Ten Shiri said. He also said Israel's presence in the UAE south of Iran was a threat to Tehran and should not happen. FBI arrested 18-year-old Alexander Scott Mercurio on Saturday after he allegedly made plans to attack churches in Idaho, pledging his allegiance to IS, according to the Department of Justice. So, showing that uh, some of the domestic issues going on are really rearing their ugly heads, and 
It's just a matter of time before something crazy and bad happens. United States is denied export of a permanent ceasefire or reports of a permanent ceasefire in Gaza in exchange for Iran not targeting Israel, which means that Iranian retaliation against Israel is now inevitable. Talks in Cairo between Israel and Hamas collapsed after strong pressure from the United States. Netanyahu announced the invasion of Rafah refugee camp. 1.5 million Palestinians are there. Iran's foreign ministry announced today that Damascus, there will be a response in Israel or to Israel for the embassy attack. And the leader of Hezbollah also announced in his speech today that there will be an Iranian response. So that is where we are for all of that. And, well, as you can see, it's not good. Turkey restricts exports of selected products to Israel. EU Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell, quote, Russia for- threatens Europe. A high-intensity conventional war in Europe is no longer a fantasy. We hope to see him at the head of the front. United States intelligence community believes that Iran's response to Israel will not be direct, but through its proxies in the region, estimating that it has encouraged them to launch a widespread and coordinated attack against Israel. Nothing yet. We shall see. Um, I mean, they're being very patient, but I think they're waiting for uh, Ramadan's end. Israel's foreign minister says he will ask American Congress to examine Turkey's steps against Israel and to improve, or excuse me, impose sanctions accordingly. Erdogan is once again sacrificing the economic interests of the people of Turkey for his support for Hamas, murdered and desecrated bodies of women, and other terrible things they can't mention here on October 7th. Israel will not submit to violence and extortion and will not condone unilateral violation of the trade agreements and will parallel will take parallel measures against Turkey and they will not uh, they will harm the Turkish economy ordered the pre- to prepare another list of products that Israel will prevent Turkey from exporting and in addition I ordered to contact countries and organizations in the US stop investments in Turkey, and prevent the import of products from Turkey. And so our friends in the American Congress to examine the violation of the boycott laws and impose sanctions on Turkey accordingly. That's Israel's foreign minister. Denmark will send its entire artillery to Ukraine. This is from February 2024, around 524,000 shells will be delivered to Ukraine, original date, representing roughly 52% of its target, EU Chief Diplomat Joseph Burrell told reporters last week. Copenhagen will uh, has pledged 8.4 billion euros in military aid. According to the Kiel Institute, Denmark's military aid commitment increased by 3.5 billion euros since November making it one of the several biggest military donors by percentage of GDP. Arizona Supreme Court upholds a 1964 abortion law banning nearly all abortions in the southwestern United States state. Finland will provide Ukraine with a $188 million euro military aid package and sign a security guarantee agreement, 188 million euros. It contains means for the anti-aircraft defense and large caliber artillery ammunition, he noted. Finland has already allocated 2 billion euros in military aid to Ukraine and 700,000 euros in humanitarian aid. So, uh, you know, Zelensky saying we're not getting money, but, you know, they really are. They, they're still getting a lot of money. World's biggest chip maker, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, has agreed to make its most advanced products in Arizona from 2028, boosting the United States' effort to bring the semiconductor supply chain home. Zhao Dashui, it's a Chinese analyst, said the U.S. knows unification with the mainland is a done deal. It's only a matter of time. They seem to believe the 2027 timetable, Taiwan is living on borrowed time. 
and they're de-risking from the island. This is a, a bad sign. This portend, portends some form of a uh, invasion, reunification by force, whatever pretty words you want to put to it. It's not a good sign. Thirteen-year-old 13 year has destroyed a five hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini after conning the seller into thinking that they were old enough to drive, and then taking it on a joyride. I, I mean. Okay, uh, the, it's one of those stories you read and you're like, this has no place here, but it's so dumb <laughs> on so many levels, I have to say it. NSA, Jake the Snake Sullivan reportedly cracked his rib after falling down the stairs, according to Politico. We hope he heals up. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee told students, these are students at like college, that the moon, I, I believe college, might have been uh, a high school or something, but these are students. She told them that the moon is a planet made up mostly of gases, end quote. So, reminds me of the uh, SNL with Harry Carey, done by Will Ferrell. like, hey, what's your favorite planet? Mine's the sun. <laughs> Good Lord. These people are like, are bought, like they're, they, they run the show. They run the country. CNN report, American intelligence estimates, there's an oxymoron, estimates that Iran is not likely to attack Israel directly by itself in response to the killing of a senior revolutionary guard officer in Syria and predicts that a combined attack of missiles and UAVs against Israel is planned to be carried out in coordination and simultaneously by some of Iran's proxy forces in the region, estimated that the attack could be carried out earlier this week and one of the sources was quoted as saying that the threat is very clear and credible. They put all of the pieces in place to now amount in attack. They're just waiting for the right timing. Israeli Air Force is currently training to attack in Iran. Saudi Daily online newspaper Elaf reported that a security source in the West said the Israel will attack uh, targets deep in Iran if it responds to the assassination of the senior officials in Damascus and bombard sites in Israel. According to the report, the Air Force is currently training to attack facilities in Iran. Now, they've always done this. This is uh, nothing new. It's just, you know, um, this is war, and they are uh, they're, they're doing it. They're getting ready for it, so they train. China has a huge uh, replica of the Taiwanese um, building, the you know where the leadership is in in Taipei. It's what they do. Yesterday, country held its breath to know if Hamas would accept the promiscuous ceasefire proposal uh, that Biden imposed on Israel. The public resented the leadership that seemed to have succumbed to such an illusory. And dangerous to man, but it turns out that the Arabs do not miss the opportunity to miss an opportunity again. Uh, all the people of panic who hoped the surrendering to a dangerous deal that would stop the fighting would collapse the government of dreams would appear to, uh, to us to be the Muslim leaders who were looking through telescopes in Saudi Arabia for the birth that would end Ramadan. Of course, Hamas and Hezbollah will not stop fighting until Iran finishes assembling the BOMB, the big one, the big daddy. We have to make sure that that doesn't happen. That is from uh, an Israeli uh, analysis, a political guy in the newspaper, with a, a political cartoon that went to it with a negotiating table, and on Hamas's side it had a bunch of weapons and bombs and stuff, and on the Israeli side it had, like, paperwork and, and officialdom. IS has issued a threatening message for the four stadiums that will host the Champions League quarterfinals that is Emirates, Parc de Prince, Metropolitan Arena, and Santiago Bernabeu. Foreign, French foreign minister suggests sanctions on Israel. There must be levers of influence, and there are multiple levers going up to sanctions to let humanitarian aid cross check points, Stéphane Sejon has said for the French. Nicaragua and Germany are going to be trying to prosecute 
uh, uh, no, excuse me, Nicaragua sued Germany for selling arms to Israel. Nicaragua's ambassador to the Netherlands, Carlos Jose Arguela, or excuse me, uh, Carlos Jose Arguello Gomez. Germany has been a partner in Israel's G sides. It fed and deport, uh, supported the Netanyahu government. It is time for Germany to be held accountable. Just such irony to that. American PMCs began to recruit members of Mexican and Colombian drug cartels serving sentences in the U.S. to participate in the Euchre conflict, it's according to Russian Foreign Intelligence uh, SVR claims. Quote, the United States plans to send the first batch of hundreds of members of Latin American drug cartels to Ukraine this summer. Why do I sense a lot of Spanish speaking to be going on on those trenches uh, in the coming years? CIA Director Burns proposed exchanging 40 Israeli hostages for 900 Palestinian prisoners as part of the first phase of a proposed three-phase ceasefire. Washington would also like northern Gaza residents who fled south to be allowed to return without restrictions. The proposal has now been sent to Hamas, but a response may take several days. I'm going to be honest with you folks. I don't know if these people are still around. You know, I mean, there might be some of them, but I think most of them due to the duress, switching, the changing, the bombardment, you know, uh, mishaps, whatever you want to call it. I don't think a lot of them are left, unfortunately. And, you know, it just, they got caught up in the whole thing. And now uh, they have, uh, they've paid the price. Israel, the families of the kidnap asked the members of the cabinet not to allow Netanyahu to undermine the exchange deal. This is the Israeli Broadcasting Authority. Israel is ready to strike Iran if Tehran launches missiles towards Tel Aviv. The Elaf news site reported from a Western security source that if Iran responds to the attack in Damascus and bombs sites inside Israel, Israel will attack targets inside Iran in response. In the Saudi report, which has no confirmation from another source, it is claimed that Israel is currently conducting secret training in the Air Force with various fighter jets and UAVs while conducting maneuvers and practicing attacks on sensitive sites inside Iran, which may be nuclear sites. We know that this is coming. I mean, it's, like I said, the Israelis are going to train. Um, nuclear sites are definitely a prime and optimum uh, area where they would want to hit. Plague alert in Odenberg region. Several cattle burial grounds were open due to the flooding where usually they bury their animals. Well, some were buried while having the plague. There is a threat of biocontamination. Roscosmos satellite images revealed according to Marat Rashirov. Uh, this is Kazakhstan. Major flooding, 100-year floods coming, and evidently... Just to add to your list of, uh, you know, your doom, doom bingo card, uh, a, a renewing of the plague itself. It is no longer in our interest to talk with the Russian officials because the communiques that are being published and the messages that are being made are lies. It's the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Chejon. Ambassador to Armenia from France, De Cotigny, wrote on social network X that France is transferring military equipment to Armenia the others despair of de receiving. Uh, de Cotigny also published a link to an article in Politico about French Thales radars and Groundmaster 200 radar, three of which, as the article say, were sold to Armenia. Getting ready for that possible conflict. Canada announced uh, it's considering joining AUKUS. Uh, I guess we'll call it caucus. Uh, and by nuclear submarines with under-ice capabilities to patrol the Arctic. Uh, Justin Castro, I mean, Trudeau, says it will become particularly important to trade via the Northwest Passage. Not incorrect. NATO should expand to the Indo-Pacific region, including membership to Singapore, Philippines, Japan, Thailand, and others. Former NATO Supreme Allied Commander Stavridis 
suggested the uh, military alliance recruit Asia Pacific countries to share its vision of freedom amid threats by China. EU's head of foreign affairs, Bodel, we demand a ceasefire, not attacking Rafa, increasing humanitarian support for Gaza, and the unconditional release of all hostages. Several large manufacturers are considering setting up a second headquarters overseas to ensure they can keep operating in the event of a Chinese attack on Taiwan, according to the Financial Times. Unconfirmed reports that Iran is planning on closing the Strait of Hormuz, shut down all oil from the Persian Gulf. Oil tankers carry approximately 17 million barrels of oil each day through the Strait, or 20 to 30 percent of the world's total consumption. Persian Gulf oil is shipped east to Asia, primarily to Japan, China, and India, and west to Western Europe and the U.S. Closing the strait would hurt many countries that are enemies of Iran, especially the Israel, U.S., and EU, so it would be a bold decision politically and strategically. Iran will respond to the Israeli attack on Damascus at the right time, leader of the IRG Navy says adding that Iran does not act emotionally or hastily, but that Israel will receive a strong, quote, slap. What the five fingers say to the face? Slap. Russia, radiation levels were detected 1,600 times above the safe limit in the city of Khabarovsk on the Russian border with China. FBI arrested a teenager suspected of collabing with IS in Idaho for planning to attack churches in the last days of Ramadan. UK Foreign Secretary Cameron has met with former Pres Trump and plans to meet with congressional leaders aiming to overcome Republican resistance and secure approval for a new aid package to support Ukraine's fight against the Russian invasion. United States Secretary of State Blinken says Israel hasn't notified the U.S. about a date for an operation in Rafah and stresses that the opposite is true because Israel and the U.S. are expected to have have, uh, hold talks next week on alternatives for a Rafah operation. That is from Barak Ravid. If Hamas accepts a truce hostage deal, Iran will likely not carry out strikes on Israel, important in that case, is the Rafa operation the U.S. leaked that Netanyahu has betrayed the U.S. because he stated that the dates of the Rafa operation are on the table. Israel's military officials estimate that Iran's response to Israel airstrike on Iran's Damascus mission will not come until after the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fatar, April 12th, according to Channel 12 News. Israeli army also thinks an attack will target military strategic assets, not civilian ones. Israel is preparing for the possibility of an attack coming from any number of proxies or from Iran itself as well as the possibility of a multi-pronged assault, according to the report. Our Israeli foreign minister, if Iran attacks us directly, we will respond, end quote. In China... Huge deployment on the coastal sides for a possible major military escalation with Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. Map graphics shows the deployment of units of the Coastal Defense Forces, PLA Navy, under the control of the Northern, Eastern, and Southern Commands, and the location of starting positions, capabilities of Chinese coastal missile systems. Euchre attacks on Russian refineries pose a threat to the situation in global energy, that's according to Secretary of Defense Austin. In Russia, there will be no mobilization in May under any circumstances, head of the Russian State Duma Defense Committee, Kartapolov, has stated. In Finland, the creation of the headquarters of the NATO ground forces has begun in Mikkeli. That is 140 kilometers from the Russian border. They're absolutely going to love that. Air assault on the oil port of Haifa, northern Israel. Joe says he calls on Israel for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. Listen to Joe, please. 
U.S. may liberate one or two nations and make them normal countries in Asia. They're revising military security treaties. Their major destabilizing forces are more con- uh, conducive to uh, restabilizing the region. They're going to upgrade their World War II facilities and pull neutral countries into military alliances. Communist Beijing would likely be uh, forced to attack. In the meantime, NATO is calling for expanding the alliance, including Japan and the Philippines. This would play back to what Stavridis said in trying to get Thailand and others that are generally not in the game in the game. And according to KANN, Britain will not stop the sale of arms to Israel from British com- companies because it's just too lucrative. And war is a racket. Thank you, Mr. Smedley Butler. It is a racket, and it is going on all over the world and becoming more robust, and not in a good way. So that's why you should be uh, paying attention to what we're doing here, listening, hitting the like button, subscribing, engaging. Joining us on all the other places, like here on YouTube as a member, it's a great place to be. A couple bucks, less than a coffee, will support what we're doing here. I am the product. It is nothing else. I'm not going to sell you anything else. Not that there's anything wrong with channels trying to sell you stuff. But what you get here is what you get here. And that is the best information, uh, most comprehensive news on YouTube, folks. Okay? So there's your 30 minutes of power. We're going to switch it on over to the Prepper Now channel. I'm going to do a little live stream. God bless you all. Stack stock. Stick to your plans. Keep your head in the swivel when you powder dry. And I appreciate you coming by. The Crisis Report by Prepper Now. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much and God bless.